What? What is this? <laughs> Pathetic. She's so fat, she's so gross, she will never find love. Pathetic. The only one who can love this woman is the good lord up above the mountain. Pathetic. She will never change, she will always stay the same. Pathetic and insane. Pathetic. Belly scary, he no carry. Hey, hey, hey. I am, I'm jet lag. Uh, you live in a hot mess, literally, if that place was in the U.S. Proud mama, you don't know anything about our apartment. So, number one, I explained in my video, <clears throat> there's a separate switch for the electricity to go to the washer and dryer. When I'm showering, I don't hit the switch. And, yeah, if this was the U.S., but it's not. So, everything about the apartment is not going to be like a U.S. apartment or like a Western apartment. So, that's all I can say. Uh, what, what? Laura and I'm very worried about if the place is up to code. Feel free to report it because there's no code. <laughs> we're, in, we're in Kuwait. We're not in the U.S. So, I Salah was supposed to be with me. He might when he gets up, but he fell asleep. Yeah. I don't know if any of you have... You know, do, do your men do this? They just like, they. I'm so jealous. They can just randomly fall asleep, like any time, you know? <laughs> like, you know, we were like um, in the bedroom and then just, you know, after a while just fell asleep. Just right away, fell asleep. He's like snort, we're like cuddling, watching something and all of a sudden, and I'm like, I know he's out. There's no, it's gonna be a brick. I'm not gonna wake him up. <coughs> But he was having a bit of a tummy ache, so I massaged the area for him and, you know, yeah. I do not want to um, cook in an abaya and hijab. Like, I just won't do that. I won't do it. I was so crabby trying to make the lentil soup. I'm like, I want to do a TikTok video. I'm gonna make a cute Ramadan recipe. No, I'm not, okay? I was dying, <laughs> dripping sweat. I'm freaking out. Like, I look like a tomato. I'm not doing it until I'm healthier. No. <sighs> Whatever that will be. The central air is not broken, but it's probably on 23, which I can't stand. <laughs> We're always battling because Salah's always cold. And I'm always hot. So, I'll be like, baby, I'm going to get you a sweater, okay? <laughs> so I go in the wardrobe, get him a sweater. <sighs> Ottawa still sucks. Yeah, I don't miss it, <laughs> honestly. Especially like, I don't know, I was talking to my mom and like, I feel kind of sad that, you know, I probably won't be going home for like at least maybe three to four years. Um, inshallah. Oh my God, is that my hair? It's like getting out of hand. I can't even contain it in my hijab anymore. There are people who go a long, long time without seeing their family. And we do talk on video and everything. So, but I just can't do the trip. It's so traumatic for me to, like, I can't do it. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. Maybe once a year. I don't know. I don't want to do it without Salah and, you know, we're planning on, like, just traveling and stuff. Maybe, I don't know. And then after a little while, maybe I'll go home. But honestly, like with the financial mess I was in, it's just like makes so much sense for me to to live like in a country where it's like just everything is like, you know, I have somebody who pays most of the bills. I don't really have to worry about money as much. Um, I also, the money, I'm not making like nearly, I'm making like a fraction of the money I made like at one time on YouTube. So... <clears throat> I know it's a long time to be away, but it's such a long journey. I don't know. I say that, but like I plan on being like a resident for at least a few years, if not maybe indefinitely. Um, honestly, like I'm going to do a video about it, but like uh, the differences between Canada and the Middle East, like in Kuwait for me, living here is so much better. 
anything I, anything I need to take care of, Canada-wise, finances, I can do from here. So it's not like, you know what I mean? Address cheese being 70% of your diet. That's true. I gotta lo lay off the sodium, absolutely. <laughs> I don't help peace with his rent, no. Um, any financial ties we had, like dependency together, whatever. And like Salah has been, I swear, this is like one of the reasons God sent him to me. My, my life was a mess and I needed somebody, like he's so good at like saving and um, he's one of those people that like, is just really good at saving and really responsible with their money. <coughs> so, um, I have a lot to learn from him, that's for sure. And he's very responsible. So I need someone like that. Usually, like, the people I, I would be with would be, like, we'd be both codependent and just really um, financially irresponsible, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, we, like I have a, you know, I don't, I just don't feel like I'm on my own. Like, I have a light at the end of the tunnel. I have a long-term plan, and I'm hoping, I'm just trying to, like, tunnel focus on that and just be positive and happy and really just, like, you know, just focus on, on improving our lives because there's so much work to do. Is there anything you don't like about Kuwait? Not really. I'm trying to think of something. Do you guys have anything that you, like, you wouldn't like about living here? I could try to think if I agree or not. I mean, the basic human rights are something I wouldn't like in Kuwait. I wouldn't enjoy my son being in prison and possibly killed because he's gay. <clears throat> it's not like you're going to be arrested just for being gay. Like, you know, if you're, like, making out on the street or something like that, like, you know. Like, I thought that too, Lynn, but actually Salah explained it more. Like, there are gay people here. They probably just are very private. I don't know. <coughs> but I can understand that if you're gay. Um, yeah, I would understand not wanting to live here. Sure, but I'm not gay, so. For me, my situation... <coughs> sorry, I can't get rid of my cough. Is, you know, ideal for me. Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, as a resident, I'll have a huge ta a break on a lot of things that I can catch up on my stuff in Canada. And then you know, <laughs> just try to, um, yeah, just, you know, other things, just, I don't know. I guess, like, if you're Muslim, it's just a really good, I just like being here more, you know. I just feel like I fit in more. I don't know how to explain it. Also, people aren't, I hate for lack of a better term, but, like, people are just not shit here. Like, <clears throat> like, Yes, I've noticed people completely just dog crapping on everything we do, including our place. It really, we really don't care anymore. Like, we're really just focusing on, like I said, positive. And if people just want to nitpick, like, cracks on the wall and stuff like that in a place where they have, they're really just culturally ignorant, that says more about them than us. And we're just finished even acknowledging it. Like I said in my comments, from now on, you're going to have, even if you cut off my arm, I'm just going to do it. You're just going to sit there and smile as you do it. So, <clears throat> but yeah, it's just that like, we just have a lot of other things, more important things to focus on. And that's just what we're going to do, I guess, <laughs> you know, what do I miss most about Canada? Um... Well, my, besides my family, you mean like like aspects about Canada? I miss my family. Uh, I don't know, not really much. Sometimes I miss. Um, no, I don't. I don't. I really don't miss anything. I really don't. I guess it was just like, not somewhere I enjoy living. And there's a lot of people like if you look on on uh, YouTube there's a lot of people actually moving to like Dubai like the UAE yeah we are planning on going to Saudi Arabia after Ramadan inshallah your fam should plan on visiting in the future Rebbe we did talk about that maybe you know <laughs> I don't know they might find it a bit restrictive but 
I don't at all. I like the restricting. I like the, re the restrictions. You know what I mean? I don't mind. Caesar fell asleep on us. He was supposed to be here, but I told him, I like sent him a text on WhatsApp and just said whenever he wakes up to come and chat or come out here. <clears throat> I'm, I am seeing his body all over thumbnails and I'm just like, every time I see it, I'm like, I'm so lucky. Like, <laughs> not to sound like I'm bragging, but like, I'm like, wow, he's so hot. <clears throat> like, to me, he's perfect. So I'm like, wow, he's so good looking. <laughs> I find it wrong when people judge people's homes. I think that people who are less fortunate than you would be also offended by people being so cruel about someone's dwellings. Yeah, well, like I said, like, if somebody wants to be that low and pathetic that they spend their life looking at like every little thing like who cares i don't know i really don't we really don't care if you don't like our carpet we really don't care if you don't like the paintings on our walls you, it's our home we like it it's our cup of tea and you know like <laughs> you know what i mean um it's not like a, a fully renovated, like he did make changes. He put art up on the walls. I remember people saying like, There's, you know, you guys could put up some art. So he put up some art and a lot of it is like, like um, typical art you would find in art shops here. Like he actually, <laughs> he's so cute. He actually, like when he was at the store, <clears throat> I can actually post the pictures. Actually, I have like actual pictures of him at the store. All of these things are brand new. He actually kept the, you know when you buy a picture in the frame and it has those little square carton things on the sides? <laughs> he kept them on, I'm like, babe, you have to take those off. So it's just like the thought that he put into it and he put up the curtain for me, um, which is typical here again. So people who are just judging are very ignorant about what it's like to live here. Um, it's a very typical apartment. Um, so we really don't care. I mean, I'm totally unbothered. Like, I, you know, it has nothing to do with your apartment. They just want to make content to keep a roof over their heads. Embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm thankful that I don't have to do that. I don't have to cut people down every day to make a living. It's totally, totally like, honestly, I feel blessed for that. Just enjoy being able to apartment and shame you after you said, okay, um, no, that's not, that's not valid because I only made one Motel 6 comment after being bullied by somebody for two years. So I think my one Motel 6 comment is not equal at all. So if that, that's what people justify to keep, I don't even care. Like, honestly, Colonel, like consider the source of where it's coming from. Seriously. Do you think I care? No. But I'm going to the gym, guys, so I'm going to be fit. Don't worry. After I eat these chocolate bars. Remember all the chocolate bars? Oh. This is the Kit Kats. I don't really like Kit Kats. This is what's left of the Reese's. <laughs> I need a Milky Way. My favorite. Rhonda, the doctor here can write me a script. Because, like, that's another thing. As a resident, I get free health care with paying no taxes. Duh. I can just hear people now. She shouldn't be eating chocolate. She's fat. Coming from other fat people. Okay. <laughs> so, whatever. <laughs> there were so many, like, there were a few weirdos anyway. Body shaming? Salah. Like, and when. This is why I like Yo Mama. Because he really just calls out the total BS of all these people. Imagine, imagine being as hot as Salah. 
and being body shamed in the most disgusting way by somebody like FFG. Imagine, imagine they're on a campaign to cancel me. Good luck with that. <laughs> She's just mad. She, I mean, I don't know how people watch that and don't like, like she literally makes a three hour stream out of like a 10 minute video about like, like she says like they're, they're just reaching so hard for content. It's just, it's amazing. It's like they, they out the, like, like, wasn't there a comment that like, I shouldn't be on the beach cause I'm fat or whatever, just cause I'm sitting in the sand and not going in the water. Like I've explained that in the video, like people just don't even listen to the video. Like, like I'm not going to swim in public. It's not going to happen. It's a Muslim thing. Not only that, like, okay. If it was a, if it was a problem with me being fat and, and swimming, what, how do you explain Cuba? How do you explain me being in Cuba, swimming in the ocean every day? But... But I can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Mimi, it's like a lot of the weird theories contradict one another. Like with the phone, she paid for, the, she gave Salah money to pay for the phone. I'm broke as hell, okay? And Salah just got a really nice contract. Like he had gotten a really nice new contract um, with his business. By the way, we're working on a, a video. Um, we're going to take you guys to the shops, show you some of the shops, like not the shop names, but like his actually the stores where the markets where his... Um, products are sold he got a really good new um clientele and he was able to buy me that and also i never have money if it's not payday and this was like bought when it wasn't payday so am i broke or which one is it am i broke or I paid for the phone myself like it can't be both you know what i mean so it's just like it's just like anybody with a little bit of brain power would be able to realize you know so it's like i realize like there's no point in raging about these things anymore. It's just really ridiculous, you know? And, and so what? Even if I was broke, like, what does that matter? Like, when did I ever claim that I was rich? When did I ever claim? Actually, I've always come on here and talked about my financial problems very openly. Um, I don't know. I feel like people really just don't. It's so ignorant to think that, like, just because of my size that I can't get a man to pay for anything. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah, how am I broken? I pay for two apartments. Right, yeah. There, there, It's just there's no motive for me to be in two apartments, like, at all. It's, like, really weird. <clears throat> but some of the things they say is just so disgusting that, like, I can't believe, like, I ever... If I ever talked like that, I can't believe I ever talked like that. Said really, really disgusting things. Like, just the way they body shamed Salah, like... I, I really, I'm just like, it's, it's just laughable. Like, it's just like, you're clearly miserable and super effing jealous. That's it, completely what it is. Because he's not ugly, he's not fat, but the person doing the judging is is those things. And like, I know it makes me not any better to say that, but like, I mean, come on. No. Mm-mm. Actually, I don't know why anybody, including me myself, um, talks. I don't. I don't do that though. Like, I don't have videos of other people on my channel again. But um, people to just body shame other people in the community or like, um, what does that have to do with your character? Like, what what do your looks have to do with your character? You know what I mean? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Been, have you ever been in a situation where you meet somebody and they're just like they're super super good looking? but they're completely, their personality is shit and like it turns you off of them. They, they could be the hottest person, you know? But they're just like, un they're just like so unstable and so horrible, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, before you call me horrible, but like in vile, please look at the community around you because I'm not the one sitting here body shaming somebody to for like two hours 
or leaving um, businesses reviews and trying to mess with people's livelihoods every chance I get. I don't do that shit. So actually compared to most people claiming that I'm vile, you're actually way, way, way worse, way worse. And I've realized this. I think I told you guys I was planning on staying here for a while, but it's like official. I'm going to be here for like a few years, if not forever. <laughs> I honestly like, love the Middle East and um, I just feel a lot happier here, mental health wise, you know? So glad you found love and happiness. You deserve this. Thank you. Actually, Salah has many times seen how my mental health was <coughs> and has even suggested just like he's like like f youtube just seriously he doesn't like seeing me that way so but i i like youtube i like talking to you guys i like doing vlogs i like sharing my life with you guys you know so i just have to accept that being picked apart by people who are clearly miserable in their own life and I don't know what their problem is. Um, unstable. You know, happy people. A lot of people talk about my happiness. Pe happy people don't do that to other people. At all. Nothing better to do. Exactly. It's really sad. And I found that rich coming from, you know, who, like, I heard I heard a comment of, like, she was, like, telling your mama, like, you, you really have nothing better to do than to stream snipe. You, like, that's what you do. That's your whole life is stream sniping and stealing content but okay <laughs> exactly like i just also don't like other than yo mama like i don't really watch people so and i don't research my name anymore so really i don't i don't see it and i'm good like you know i'm not freaking out raging i'm still giving things probably more attention than i should but um salah's things were in the wardrobe and he has like some he has like a like some watches. I don't know. He never wears them, but he has really nice watches. He has like a really nice guest watch, another brand, a really expensive brand, a lot of nice colognes and things, and they're stored under the entertainment center. I wasn't sure if like he would want me to show them or not, but <laughs> he's like, yeah, it would have been fine. Yeah, I mean, let's compare. Like, let's just compare just for petty sake. I literally, people were like, she's never going to go to Kuwait. I've traveled here twice. I'm now I now live here permanently with my husband who's fake apparently. There's just so many things that I've debunked. Um I'm not going to show my marriage certificate, but if we weren't married, we'd be at a big risk of being in prison and we would never take that risk. So yes, we've been we've been married and we are married. What else? His business that's coming up soon. Um, I have like the hottest husband. I don't care if that's bragging, whatever. He's so gorgeous. Not only is he gorgeous, but he is an amazingly supportive, non-cheating, he's not a du cheating douchebag. Like he's amazing in every way. So they think they know, but who cares? What are they like, whatever. Like they know my area, ooh. They think that's gonna intimidate me. What are they gonna do? Come to Kuwait and go ahead. You'll be met with my husband. <laughs> the rat, actually the rat, the drain has been closed thank you <laughs> it's been staying closed i swear it was just that one time i saw i saw it but rats are actually very common here like that's we have so many stray cats like <laughs> so good for them right so it's not an indication of how poor or rich you are just because you have a rat i know somebody who has like a half a mil like i have somebody in my family who has like a really 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 nice house and they have rat problems colonel i won't be raging ever again i got an email there's a petition to get you off oh okay moving on with my day i don't care <laughs> a petition for what and then and then i i told salah this i'm like people want to petition me off of social media because they don't like me so they use an excuse of animal abuse or whatever but i'm sorry what would you do if I wasn't on YouTube? What would you do? I really, really want to test that theory, actually. I really want to ghost for like a month and see what people would do. Because if I'm not mistaken, for example, FFG, she talks crap about my apartment in the most petty, stupid way, hypocritical way ever. Talks about my husband's body in a hypocritical way. 
whatever, says he has childbearing hips, you don't have any at all. So, and gets like 30k views, okay? Talks about any this weirdo in a van she lusts over, 5k views. So I'd really like to know how people are going to pay their bills without my content. Can anyone answer that? So please, yeah, petition me to get me off the platform because I'll just join another one. And then what? You're going to be the ones hurting. You're going to be the ones uh, downgrading your abode because of that. So shoot yourself in the face. That's what you'd be doing. Perfectly imperfect was, ugh, was encouraging people to leave bad comments and yelp. So I think we should all turn the favor and contact harder school and PA. Hmm. You know what? Like, honestly, like I would have every right to do that, to be like, listen, there's some like there's an employee of yours who's like teaching children and they're a complete bully on the Internet. I just think you should know that. Leave negative reviews for her school. Ooh, that's a good idea. No. <laughs> I'm not, see, that's the thing. That would be stooping to her level. I don't want to, like, I, I I think that it would be warranted to to let her employer know just how vile she is um, online. But beyond that, like, I'm not going to leave, like, fake reviews or anything like that. <clears throat> don't be like them, exactly. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Whoa. I love how I can just change the shape of my face. <laughs> Why I really like being here is because it's giving me a financial break to catch up. So like any money I earn <clears throat> is pretty much going towards debts. So like, um, yeah, so like I said, I have like a payment plan. I have it all mapped out, but most of my money goes towards my debts and taking care of my debts. I want to just get more financially healthy and then Salah like is able to take care of all of his bills with his job or whatever which I don't understand why people don't like what is what was he doing for like how was he surviving without me before he met me like how was he able to like buy a car with like no installment how was he able to afford his apartment how was he able to afford living like <laughs> you know like that's great Chantal must feel good it's like it doesn't feel good, like, being in debt at all. I hate it. So I just want to get it over with, you know? But it does feel good, yeah, for sure. Like, having... I don't know. Like, I think it was meant to be, like, this is the best solution for me in every way. It'll allow me to catch up because, like... Like, I, st I don't make as much money as I did. I don't make, like, 20K a month. But I still make a decent amount. Not, like... Actually, nowadays, it's not really that much. And if you tax that... It's like maybe 30000 a year or something like that. So every year I would have to pay that. Whereas like if you move to a country that's tax-free, a lot of people are doing that. Um, moving to like places like Dubai and stuff like that because there's no tax. There's no income tax. There's no sales tax, nothing. <clears throat> um, but you can't just move to these countries. You ha have to actually... Um, how long will it take you to get out of debt? Um, because I'm able to focus like 100%. Not 100%, but like a good chunk of my income on my debts only. Um, it'll be pretty fast-tracked. So maybe a year and a half to two years max. And then if we live here another... Like if we live here, I want to I wanna stay here indefinitely. So, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if we'll stay here in Kuwait, but we're not sure where we're going to live permanently. But for now, like if we stay here for a few years imagine tax-free be, being able to catch up will be so amazing so like yes like like just mashallah i know i say that a lot but i really just want to you know it's it's a plan that was like i didn't think about that like that wasn't part of the plan like in the beginning like i wasn't like planning on i didn't think that I would be able to do to to do something like this like it's just something that like naturally like came about you know what I mean when a 50 made 20k super chats in a month you already know that half is going to the government in Canada <coughs> yeah exactly they take most of your money for sure they take way too much money from people in my opinion and I know people will say I don't mind paying so many taxes if it pays for my health care 
okay, but here, free healthcare, no taxes. So how do you explain that? You know what I mean? Like, how, how is that possible? Why do we have to give a huge chunk of our income, hard-earned money, when people are barely even affording to live? You know what exactly. I mean? Money doesn't make you happy. Golden Girl, like, I used to, but it, I used to think it did. Like, I used to panic, like, you know, if I, if I, if I didn't have enough money to just blow, you know, I would be like, oh no, I only have like $1,500 to blow on crap this month. Like, are you kidding? Like, who cares? You know, like, <laughs> oh my God, it's totally not. My priorities have just changed so much. And I, I know I feel that, that part of me in my personal growth, you know, my health definitely needs improvement, you know, definitely, which I'm hoping to, you know, I, I really want to eat like three packs of noodles right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Pickles, cheese. I was like the Grinch when he's throwing things out of the fridge. Lab nut and bread. Yeah, I am hot, Leah. When I'm not live, I'm not wearing any clothes. <laughs> Why am I like this? Any gossip? No, I'm kidding. I can't gossip when Ramadan hits. I can't swear. We have to give to charity. And I have to be nice. Do you think I will be able to? I will. If I want something, if I don't get it when it comes to food, I'll obsess about it till I get it. I don't know how I'm gonna change that. If you break a Ramadan rule, you can be fined. I'm not, I'm eating better than before, but I still overeat sometimes. A lot of the time. Obviously, I'm not losing weight, so. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. I know what I'm doing wrong. Problem is, we think we have all the time in the world. You know, to change. Pathetic. <laughs> She's so fat, she's so gross, she will never find love. Pathetic. The only 